In the last video, if you remember, a storm had rolled through the St. Augustine Marina and the barometer had shown a big change. <laughs> but uh, despite recent events on this day, the change only concerned the weather. The temperature was down, it was raining, and very windy. Cold out. My goodness, it's cold. And this was the main reason we were in this marina. The following day though, we were going to get out of there because it would be a lot cheaper to be on the hook somewhere. There were many places around here where you could anchor out. Here towards the inlet, off to the right, was a place called Salt Run. It was high tide. It was very shallow, both on the satellite images and on avionics, so I decided that wasn't the safest option. Mike chose this little tight area here where you were allowed to anchor because there was a boat ramp nearby and the following day was Sunday and he had arrangements to go to church. Me, I wanted to go back the way we came where on Navionics it showed a lot more water and we had already seen the spot and there were a bunch of boats in there and there was a beach nearby. So this is where I decided to go. All right, I am at a weird anchorage. I'm gonna see if we can get the dogs ashore for a walk on the Bass Raider. It's low tide. I'm gonna show you a sunken boat that revealed itself as the tide went out. It's amazing that it was completely submerged up there. We just had some uh, gnarly weather. Weather has cleared up. Dogs had something to eat. Timing was actually pretty good. I feel like I'm being watched. <laughs> All right, let's go. Give a little push. Put the safety lanyard on. And we're in gear. Let's go check this out. Whew, gray outside. I'm trying to have faith in my anchor. My goodness. What a shame. There's another derelict over there. It's funny, from over here, my boat doesn't look that close. But when I'm on the boat, this thing looks like it's right there. There's another uh, shoaly looking thing right over here. Gotta be careful where you anchor. You never know where it's gonna be shallow. You can kind of see it in the surface of the water. It's either shallow or there's something submerged there. I bet it's shallow. Just sand. I don't know. I might have to take my socks off <laughs> to get these guys across this sandbar. Definitely shallow right there. Exposed. There's no way I can get across there. So close. Don't worry, pups. We'll get you there. At least this guy doesn't complain that I'm anchored too close to him. Not that anybody has, but it's something I think about. You know, what if I drag anchor? Things can get uh, ugly quick. The nice thing about this type of weather is that there's very few boats out. Kind of feels like it's our place, doesn't it? For a little while at least. There's home. There's somebody's broken dreams. That's what the dogs are dreaming about. There's the obstacle in our way. Sandbar. I can go around that red marker probably. The last thing I want to do is uh, bust a, uh, a shear pin in the anchor or something. might notice that Mike is not here. What happened earlier is we left the marina and he had his eyes set on a place to anchor. I didn't think it was a good idea. We both left the anchorage, uh, the marina rather, and I made for this anchorage and he went over there. So he says his place is good. I think my place is good. We get a little separation, which is good for any relationship, whether you're friends or uh, whatever crossing over the shallow spot now on this side of the marker which, which is fine we'll step it up a little bit muddy and crappy over there shelly over there nice and soft and sandy over here so yeah mike is pretty far away right now yeah, by my boat it would take me 20 minutes to get there after I pulled the anchor. We're gonna be 
meet back at the marina tomorrow. And uh, yeah, there's that. I kind of got tired of um, him picking the spots all the time. He's got the philosophy, well, we haven't sunk yet, right? But um, I do have some cracks in my boat and I've got some problems that, um, you know, probably could have been avoided. So I'm taking the very safe route from now on, even if it means separating myself from my buddy boat. And I'm not sure if that's a wise thing or not. But then again, where he's anchored right now, he was going in during high tide. If he ran aground, he'd have been in serious trouble. On uh, the maps, it looked very shallow. Navigation maps, Google maps, everything. Satellite images, it looked very shallow. He said there was a channel that was well marked. And there are big boats back there. But it seemed like trouble to me. And this place is nice and wide open. Plenty of space between boats. So I chose this spot. It's the first time that we've really separated where he went this way and I went that way, but it's uh it's a choice you should make when you're a captain of a boat. You ultimately are in charge. If something goes wrong and somebody says I'm sorry, well Still your fault. You gotta make the choice. My choice today is to come here. Let's see if we can get the dogs ashore without any issues. Alright pups, easy. Hey! Don't you do it. Stay. Stay. That looks a little soft. <laughs> Jeez. Stay. Stay, stay, stay. Stay. Jabs. Stay. All right, all right, all right. All right. Uh, I don't want to get my socks wet. <laughs> Let's see why socks are terrible. Okay, okay. Uh. Uh. It was not an easy decision to go separate ways from Mike, but it was not only the anchor issues that I was having, it was the fact that I love exploring and I preferred isolated places like this to docks and boat ramps and stuff like that and a crowded anchorage. And I certainly do love my dogs. And this was a much better place where they could run around without a leash and really stretch their legs. running from these dogs, they're dead meat. They catch me in a heartbeat. You hear that nonsense? dogs are happy, I'm happy. So spending a few days here, I really think was the right decision. Easy. 